Welcome back! Yes, I know, I had a lot of time being not here, um, but doing the tutorials, I will tell you it all. Um, before I start with the walkthrough, I have to tell you that um, I started the project way before my holiday started. So if you are starting the tutorial, then all my chit chats <laughs> are still from before my holiday and the rest will all follow till it's completely ready. So I, all questions all be answered, I think doing the tutorial because normally I always chit chat with you I always telling you all about my life and what's happening here but further than do let's go in this walkthrough oh my god I'm so super excited finally it's done it's done yes already then so um before I start again <laughs> I like to tell you that I used the paper collection from Fleur Design and this company is from Russia. I don't know, they stopped doing the uh, COVID um, thing going on last year. Um, I don't know if they are again uh, producing uh, new, new collections, I have no idea. But this collection is from Fleur Design and uh, it's called Charmed. And it's an amazing, amazing, lovely collection, very sweet, very yeah, a little wedding theme, but it's not necessary. But let's get in. So what did I make? Well, let me first go to the outside. Um, so this is the front, of course. <laughs> and I made some decoration right here. I love the papers of Charmed. And then we go to the side. And of course you can replace this image for uh, your own image. I used some lace to make this a uh, little chic little nicer as uh, as it would be a book it isn't and um i use some uh, tablecloth for the spine so it does not tear so this is absolutely um for for a long 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 time and then the back it looked like this and then this is the side but it looks like a book doesn't it it does look like a book but it isn't no so let's go inside so we have a ribbon closure and this is a seam binding closure that i color dyed myself and then you have these uh these nice cutting pieces that gives us a nice flare and then you open this up and then you will see that this is a box with treasures <laughs> I call them treasures because they, it's loads because if you can see it's loads so not much is left but first we go to the inside cover which I always love to add um, some pockets where you can write something down here or you can put your pictures in here here below also some tags just some fun pockets where you still can add your um, yeah your pictures or tags or anything that you like to put in here. So three nice pockets and then the spine I decorated like this. Really cute. But then we go to the box. Yeah. And what's inside the box? I like to give you a one by one real slow walkthrough because there are so many to see. So. The first thing I'm going to pull out, let me put this away, so just a little inside, okay, so let me pull out the first thing. So what's this? Um, yeah, for me it's also a long time that I, that I made this, but let me open this up like this. So this is a ribbon closure, but you also can slide it up. and. Then we have a big pocket and there is a booklet behind it where you can still add your nice photos in. I decorated here and there with some crystals. We love the sparkles in it. I hope you can see that on the camera, but I really like it. Um, and some lace. Then you open this up to the left. I think I need to remove the box to the side. Alright, and then we have a nice big 
a photo frame where you can still add a photo behind just like this you can place your photo in here and you also can take it out anytime you like as you can see with those little frame corners then we have a little pocket with just a little simple booklet where you can write something down you can even put a photo right here and then this flips to the left nice pocket place for photo on this other side same thing then this flips to the back and then we have a big big photo frame where you can add a nice big photo behind but this also go continuings with a nice big belly band um, a nice photo mat on the back difficult to put it back in this is the little tuck spot below here we go little tack at the bottom here we have a little tuck spot and a little tuck spot right here so you can use all these things because I remember that I did not use um, you even you even can use the back see you even can use everything as a tuck spot so this, you also can flip it up all the way, just like this. Super cute. Um, this way, yeah. All right, and then you can close it down again with this little guy right here. And use the ribbon closure. All right, that's one. Okay, let's continue to the next one. The next one is a um, an accordion pocket. So this is how the outside looks, sideways. Super easy to make. Super handy because you can store all kind of uh, pictures inside. I already placed some photo mats inside, but you, as you can see, you can place so, so many inside, as many as you like. So I always like to add these in these kind of boxes. Super cute, super easy. Then what next? We have another cute little project all right what's what's up with this one so here we have a little button closer again with a flip up and we have a big big pocket and this one is just added inside but it's also a big accordion pocket so you still can add loads of pictures in there and this flips to the left and here we have again a nice simple pocket and then here we have a belly band with a nice booklet inside this keeps it up this one is a nice stopper at below then this flips to the left and here we have a diagonal pocket with also some tags inside then this is a swing tab uh, moves downwards and then we have a little tuck spot right here and a little photo mat where you can place your photo and then this closes down with this swing tab and then it's not all we still have a nice booklet inside with all the leftover pieces And then we go to the back and the back we have again a nice tuck spot and in here we have a nice up pocket but again a nice big booklet where you can add your pictures in or you can write uh, write something down of course that's also the possibilities but this also goes to this way again a diagonal pocket and here we have a little tuck spot with a little place so you can add something 
lots of blinks right here. This is the stopper from this little guy right here. You can add a nice picture right here. You can add your pictures in here or a tag. Anything you can do. You can write your name down here. And this is also, um, you also can flip this up, open just as the other one. Same as the other one. All right, that's the third one. Let's go to what else do we have? Well, maybe I will go to this one. This one looks like a little book. It isn't, of course, but let's open this up. Really cool with all the blinks and little ribbons. Really cool. So we open this up, and on the left side, I made three pockets small one just a little bit bigger with some tags and one big one so you can write a lot of spots or you can place your photos in here of course totally up to you what you put in here but i really like it I'll put it this way and then of course the waterfall yeah 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 i love it <laughs> i always like to add a waterfall in a project so so cool um all right so this flips up and the first one has a little tuck spot where i use some leftover pieces and all the other ones i kept plain so you can add your pictures on and then here is a little extra sideway waterfall where you also can add your pictures all right so that is number four this down with a little ribbon super super cute all right then we have another piece and this looks like this and this you slide it up also use some um, some crystals to make it a little fancier all right what's up with this one um, here we have a little talk spot same on here and then here we have a little pocket and here also a nice little pocket and then you flip this open and then of course you have a big tag inside here we can add of course a nice picture here you can add a nice picture super cool very simple and in the back we also have a nice booklet inside and a few little tags at the bottom. What do you think about that? Super cute, super cute. Love it. I also love these, these ring informants. I call these little guys. Really love it. All right, let's place this back inside. All right, and then the last, last little thing. I already have any use <laughs> because I had uh, many things left. Um, but this is a little storage box that you can add little things inside. And I had some ribbons left and I had some flowers left. But this is actually a nice little box where you can add your yeah little gifts, uh, little pieces, I don't know, little cards, visiting cards, anything. Anything that you like to use, you can add in here. I also made two tags inside here. So you can write something down for the person who gets it. But I have my leftover flowers inside here. So that is <laughs> my little project. And I just close this down with just uh, one little knot so it sticks together because the flowers are pretty thick to hold this everything down. But yeah, what do you say? This is super cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six projects in this box isn't that cute or what so do you like this
Do you like the papers? Do you like to see the tutorial? Then stay tuned. The tutorial will be online pretty soon. Um, yeah, like I said, a lot of chit chat, a lot of talking about my holiday, talking about my illness and other things, stuff going on. So yeah, finally I'm updated. <laughs> yeah, super, super cute. Um, yeah, see you soon, I hope. Bye bye. So if you like to make exactly the same surprise box as I made, because there is so many place for so many nice things inside here super cute who want, does not want to receive this handmade so so nice it's so nice um i call that a nice surprise gift or something like that doesn't have to be for uh, especially for a wedding because you I do love the colors too, absolutely stunning. Add in another picture inside, so cute. And have this secret box on your desk with all those cute, cute little um, projects inside. So, lots of space to write, lots of space for photos. It's almost the same as a mini album, isn't it? Okay, cute, but then totally different. Yes, thank you so much for watching, give me a big thumbs up if you like this project and see you next time bye bye